But then meanwhile, there was drama today afternoon at Chakahola village after opposition leader Raila Odinga visited the crime scene to see for himself what had transpired there. Odinga, who was accompanied by three opposition MPs, was denied access to the shallow graves in Shakahola by police officers, manning a command center mounted up in the area. A move that led to a fierce confrontation between the officers and the opposition leaders. KTN's David Mudoka reports on the latest regarding the Shakahola cult massacre. Friday afternoon, Shakahola village in Kilifi County, where 110 bodies of controversial preacher Paul McKenzie's followers were dug up last month, received some unusual guests. Uh, Among the guests was opposition leader Raila Odinga, Malindi member of parliament Amina Mnyazi, Kilifi woman representative Gertrude Mbeyu, and Magarini member of parliament Harrison Kombe. <laughs> Raila and the three leaders from the coast were here to see firsthand the site where over 100 people were buried in shallow graves after starving to death. The area now declared disturbed and an operation zone. Their plan to visit the shallow graves where bodies of Mackenzie's followers had been buried was however thwarted. After being received by police officers in charge of the operation in Shakahola, the officers only showed the opposition leaders around the command center mounted in the Shakahola forest and requested them to turn around and leave. <laughs> Wakafa wakazikwa hamukusema leo viongozi tumekuja na tukataza kuona ile makaburi yalifukuliwa watu wetu ni nini mnaficha katika shoka hola mtu ambaye anaheshimika mtu ambaye ana command watu wengi zaidi hapa ndani ya Kenya sielewi ni kwa sababu gani baba Raila Molo Odinga amekatazwa kuenda kuangalia kule katika yale katika pale ambapo mili imezikwa this fell on deaf ears as police officers maintained that access to the operation zone was restricted to only specific personnel askari ambaye anahusika hapa anaongea kwa njia ambaye hakuna heshima hata kidogo atia na ushika ana amri to singie nikamuuliza kwa gani hiyo unasema kuna sheria ambayo imewekwa ati hapa sasa imetangazwa ni mbali ambayo ni kuna hali ya hatari alafu nikamwambia basi piga simu kwa mkubwa yako yeye ni inspector general au waziri yeye yeye akatoroka not even the intervention of the opposition chief seemed to soften the stance of the leaders. The leaders caved in and eventually left, but not without accusing the government of unlawfully restricting them. These sentiments were shared by National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula on Thursday night in his address at the annual Journalism Excellence Awards Ajea. In his dental, you are the ones who exposed the Shakahola. The first people to bring it out was the media. And I've called my friend, the Minister for Security, that please don't block the media from going to Shakhola. Elsewhere, at the Shanzu Law Courts in Mombasa, the prime suspect in the Shakahola cult massacre, Paul Mackenzie, and 17 co-accused, including his wife, Roda Mumbua Maweo were yet again presented before Principal Magistrate Yusuf Makanda. The prosecution sought 90 more days to detain the suspects as it continues with investigations, but the court only ordered the accused persons to be detained for five days until next week when the bail application will be decided upon. This was done on a day that government pathologists completed the examination of 12 bodies of the Shakahola massacre, marking the end of the autopsy exercise. We had one, one body of, of these five bodies, which are fresh. One person had died in hospital. I think the person had stayed for about uh, two, three days in hospital. And uh, from the most hospital report, uh, the person had gone there with severe dehydration. We have sat through about half the process. We had had an officer in the mortuary, and we have not seen one body with, uh, without or with missing organs. We have not seen one. 
The conclusion of the autopsies now marks the start of a second phase of exhumations at the Shakahola forest with fears that more bodies could still be buried there. David Muthoka, KTN News.